Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of minus a, this is equal to 4. So what is the value of a? Now, let's provide a solution from here. We have 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of minus a, this can be expressed as 1 over 2 to the power of a. This is equal to 4. Now remember that if you have that is a to the power of minus n, this can be expressed as 1 over a to the power of n. Now this implies we have 2 to the power of a plus 1 over 2 to the power of a. This is equal to 4. Now since 2, 2 to the power of a is a whole number, so this is over 1, and 4 is a whole number, so this is over 1. Now Let's multiply everything here by 2 to the power of a, here 2 to the power of a, and also here we have 2 to the power of a. So 2 to the power of a times 2 to the power of a, this is 2 to the power of a, everything here squared, then plus 2 to the power of a, simplify here, so this is 1, this is equal to 4, multiplying by 2 to the power of a. The next step is that we can let 2 to the power of a be equal to x. Substituting x into this equation here, then we have x squared plus 1. This is equal to 4x. Let's take 4x on the left hand side so that we have x squared minus 4x plus 1. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to minus 4, and that c is equal to 1. So we can solve for x1, comma x2 by applying the, con the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c into this formula so that we have minus minus 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared subtract 4 multiplying by a which is 1 then multiplying by c which is 1 everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus times minus 4 this is 4 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared, this is equal to 16, minus 4 times 1, this is minus 4, divided by 2. So here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4, this is 12, everything here, divided by 2. So that now, here we have 4 plus or minus we can express the square root of 12 as square root of 4 multiplied by 3. Then everything here divided by 2. So that now, here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 4, this is 2. Then square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. In the numerator here, we have that 2 is common here. So we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 3, everything here divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here. So this is the same thing as 2 plus or minus square root of 3. So this denotes that x1 is equal to 2 plus square root of 3, and x2 is equal to 2 subtract square root of 3. Three. Since we have the value of x1 equal to 2 plus square root of 3 and x2 equal to 2 minus square root of 3, then we can proceed to solve for the values of a. Now, if you recall, we assume that let 2 to the power of a be equal to x. So, this means that 2 to the power of a, this is equal to 2 plus square root of 3. To solve for a, we introduce logarithm on both sides, 
So we have rog 2 to the power of a. This is equal to rog 2 plus square root of 3. Now, rog 2 to the power of a, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. Applying this power root property, then rog 2 to the power of a becomes a rog 2. This is equal to rog 2 plus square root of 3. So let's divide both signs by rog 2. And also here we have rog 2. So if we simplify rog 2 and rog 2 here, we have that a1 is equal to, this is rog 2 plus square root of 3 to base 2. So this is the value of a1. This is the value of a1. We can solve for the value of a2. So we have 2 to the power of a. This is equal to x2. x2 is 2 minus square root of 3. Let's introduce logarithm again on both sides so that we have rog 2 to the power of a. This is equal to rog 2 minus square root of 3. So this is again in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. So here we have a rog 2. This is equal to rog. This is 2 minus square root of 3. So let's divide both signs by rog 2. And also here by rog 2. So that now a2 is equal to, this is the same thing as rog. 2 minus square root of 3 to base 2. So this is the value of a2. Now, the next step is to verify that a1 and a2 satisfies the equation. Now, let's verify that a1 and a2 satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of minus a. This is equal to 4. So let's substitute the value of a1. We have 2 to the power of rog. 2 plus square root of 3 to base 2, then plus, this is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power of rog, 2 plus square root of 3 to base 2, this is equal to 4. Now, we have that 2 to the power of rog 2 plus square root of 3 to base 2, this is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a which essentially is supposed to give us a value of b. So this implies that 2 to the power of rog 2 plus square root of 3 to base 2, this should give us a value of 2 plus square root of 3. Substituting this, this means that we have 2 plus square root of 3, then plus 1 over 2, plus square root of 3, this is equal to 4. So 2 plus square root of 3, this is our whole number, so this is over 1, and 4 is our whole number, so this is over 1. The LCM is 2 plus square root of 3, so let, let's multiply everything by 2 plus square root of 3. Here we have 2 plus square root of 3, and also here we have 2 plus square root of 3. So 2 plus square root of 3 times 2 plus square root of 3, this is the same thing as 2 plus square root of 3 squared plus 2 plus square root of 3 simplifies here. So plus 1, this is equal to 4. Into the parentheses, this is 2 plus square root of 3. Now, 2 plus square root of 3 squared, let us expand this. So we have 2 squared, which is 4 plus square root of 3 squared, then plus 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by square root of 3, then plus 1, this is equal to 4 times 2, this is 8, then plus 4 times square root of 3, this is 4, square root of 3. So let's eliminate the square root sign here. So we have 4 plus 3, this is 7, plus 
2 times 2, this is 4 square root of 3, then plus 1, this is equal to 8, plus 4 square root of 3. Now, 7 plus 1, this is 8, then plus 4 square root of 3, this is equal to 8, plus 4 square root of 3. So, 4 square root of 3 simplifies here, and we have that 8 is equal to 8. So, that means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that A1 satisfies the equation. So, let's check A2 from here. Now, let's verify that A2, which is rock 2 minus square root of 3 to base 2, satisfies the equation. Now, again, if you recall, we end that 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of minus a. This is equal to 4. So, therefore, we have... Now, let's substitute a2 so that we have 2 to the power of rock 2 minus square root of 3 to base 2. Then plus... This is 1 over 2 to the power of rock 2 minus square root of 3 to base 2. This is equal to 4. Now, 2 to the power of rock 2 minus square root of 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, which is essentially equal to b. So therefore, 2 to the power of rock 2 minus square root of 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 2 minus square root of 3. So let's substitute this. We have 2 minus square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 minus square root of 3. This is equal to 4. So 2 minus square root of 3, this is our whole number, so this is over 1. And 4 is our whole number, so this is over 1. Let's multiply both signs by the LCM, which is 2 minus square root of 3. Here we have 2 minus square root of 3. And let's multiply here with 2 minus square root of 3. And this implies we have 2 minus square root of 3 squared. Then plus 2 minus square root of 3 simplifies. So we have 1. This is equal to 4. Into the parenthesis, this is 2 minus square root of 3. So 2 minus square root of 3 squared. Let us expand this. So we have 2 squared, which is 4. Then plus square root of 3 raised to the power of 2, minus 2, times 2, square root of 3, then plus 1, this is equal to 4 times 2, which is 8, then 4 times minus square root of 3, this is minus 4, square root of 3. So here we have 4, plus square root of 3 to the power of 2, we eliminate the square root here, so we have plus 3, minus 4, square root of 3, then plus 1, this is equal to 8, subtract 4 square root of 3. So, minus 4 square root of 3 here simplifies, so that we have 4 plus 3, which is 7, plus 1, this is 8. And 8 is equal to 8. So, the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that A2 which is rock 2 minus square root of 3 to base 2, also satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.